Okay, team, you guys ready? <laughs> okay, we're gonna start seated today. So we're gonna be seated cross-legged, whatever comfortable stance, seated stance you like. It can be on your knees, it can be in half lotus, um, but we're gonna be here for a little while. So if you know if you can't hold the lotus for too, too long, um, just sit in a nice, comfortable position. All right, hands on your thighs. Think slowly, either close the eyes or soften the gaze a couple of inches in front of you. And start to focus on that beautiful breath. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. All right, team. We're not going to stay too long here because it's sunrise yoga. So we're going to wake up a little bit. We're going to start with our side bend. So take your left hand to the floor, keep both sit bones on the floor, reach that, le um, that left hand, right hand comes overhead, and some of you may just be up here, some of you may be all the way down here, just make sure you always hold your bum bums are on the floor. And you're going to yawn into this, this delicious stretch, and making sure you're not rounding and looking down, you're not, you know, you're not a deflated ballerina, you're looking up the sky and if that's too much for your neck you can look in front focusing back on that breath inhale and deepening your exhalations on your last inhale exhale to come on up oh that felt so good other side Right hand reaches over, left hand over top. Again, making sure not to collapse. And smile, you're here, it's early morning and you're gonna start off the day just right. And for those of you joining a little late, my name is Karina. Hello. <laughs> Take a couple more breaths. I like to hold my stretches a little longer in the morning. On the next inhale, exhale, come on up, hands to palm center. We're gonna do that one more time, each side, all right? Ready, original side, inch it over. Yawn to that side, beautiful opening of the side body. And at this point, you may want to use that breath to go even deeper. Couple more breaths. And the next inhale, exhale to come on up. Other side, reach it over. So good, enjoy this. We're gonna be coming on all, to all fours next. Just forecasting, but it's coming up. Again, feel free to close the eyes as you deepen your inhalation and exhalation. Last two breaths. On the next inhale, exhale. Come on up, hands to palm center. You did so good. We're gonna come on to on all fours now. So at this point, you may want to place um, a blanket under your knees if you'd like, um, if you have sensitive knees. If not, you don't need to. So we're gonna come on to all fours. Now, you've probably done yoga a lot now at this point, so you probably know what I'm going into next, but we're gonna change it up. So we're gonna go into cat-cow. So let's do a regular cat-cow first. So on an inhale, you're gonna have a nice arch to your back, look up to the sky, crown of the head reaching towards the sky, and then exhale, you're gonna squeeze that nice deep C curve, tucking the chin to the chest, making that beautiful C with your upper body. Inhale, back to that arch, crown of the head, point towards the sky, and exhale, C curve. Okay, so that's the regular cat cow. Now we're gonna change it up. So from this C curve, you're actually gonna, as you exhale, you're gonna bring the butt back to your heel. Then you're gonna push on your forearms, inhale, into that beautiful cow. Does that make sense? So exhale, curve, reach it all the way back, stretch it back. Welcome to your heels if you can. 
forearms and push through the ground. Inhale, up to the sky. Three more. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, up, deepening the stretch every time. Now go with your own breath. neutral okay team we are going hope that felt good I love that one we're gonna go into something called thread the needle so on all four set back to neutral left hand that it points it turns clockwise fingertips towards your right actually I'm gonna do it the other way I'm gonna go my opposite way but you pick your side so opposite hand goes towards your left the other hand reaches up as high as you can sky inhale exhale thread the needle that loop, head to the ceiling, shoulder to the ceiling, and that standing hand, you want to push into the floor as you deepen that upper body stretch. If you want to take this a little bit more, um, it's the morning, so I don't know, I'm, I'm going to stay here, but if you'd like, you can raise that hand and try to see if you can touch your opposite thigh, but you know, this is not yoga is not about you know how far you can go yoga is about beauty and staying in a beautiful mental state so I'm gonna stay right here and again following your own breath relax into this melt into it the next inhale exhale come on up that felt so good okay switch sides so other fingertips towards the hand other hand reaches up to the sky look up as high as you can open up that side body exhale thread the needle bring it through and again push against that hand on the floor to have a deeper upper body twist We're gonna quickly see the pattern that we're moving. We're doing the whole body this morning. <laughs> so we're gonna start with upper body and move on to our lower body so that when you step back into the office or you know at work, at school, in class, I want you to feel rejuvenated. I want you to feel energized that you're gonna start your day off right. And again, if you feel inclined, you can take the hand back and touch, see if you can reach for that opposite thigh, but hey, no worries. And the next inhale, exhale to come on up and hand back to neutral. Okay, team, at this point in time, you may want to bring your blocks. Um, for those of you who have upper body shoulder restriction, even pecs, um, you'll find a little bit of restriction there. We're going into lazy puppy pose. So from all fours, this is a fantastic shoulder opener. And for those of you who suffer from headaches, yep, come from the shoulders. All right, step it away. Step your hands slowly away from you. So what you don't want to see is a, a child's pose. You want your bum bum booty right up in the air. You're going to uh, walk your hands out and slowly slide out. I'm sorry if the mic is muffled here until your chest if you can reach the floor and chin reach the floor. So it'll look like this. And so for those of you who don't have that, you know, flexibility yet in the chest, what you may want to do is use the block for the neck and the chest. So you pick your variation, but I want you to relax into it. It shouldn't feel like you're holding a pose. So get into it. We're going to be here for five deep breaths.
two more breaths. And that last inhale and exhale. Walk the hands slowly toward the knees and sit up. How's that? How's your upper body feeling? It should feel nice and warm. We should feel blood flow through the shoulders, through the neck. Okay, we're slowly moving on to our lower body. Now we're gonna go into pigeon. Now for this one, um, you may need a block. Okay, so to get into pigeon, what you're going to do is you're gonna come onto your knees, take your right foot into a straddle. So a nice 90 degree straddle. Right foot tracks to that side of the mat, okay? Opposite side of that mat. Knee comes down. Now at this point, you may want to place a block to support your upper body not collapsing down. So if you don't have that flexibility this morning, now, if you do, if you feel pretty limber, you want to try to see if you can bring this sole of foot to that, op to that opposite hip. So, kind of rock back and forth with this, but what I don't want to see is this hunched over, okay? But this means that you need to sit up more on a block. So see if you can sit up more. What I like to also do with my participants is place the block here and support yourself upward so that your hips are nice and square towards that side wall, not turning this way. Okay, so the side wall. And from here, just see if you can use that breath and on every exhale, sink into this beautiful stretch. And from here, on the next inhale, you're gonna exhale, walk the hands. See if you can come all the way down. And if you don't, that's fine. You can stay right up here. If you'd like, I'm giving you options, you can come down to your forearms or you can even bring the head to the floor. Your choice. I'm gonna stay right here. Another three deep breaths here. Next inhale, to get up out of it, place your hands on the side, release back, lean back, back to that straddle. And you're actually gonna stay right in the straddle. Grab your block or a book, it doesn't matter, but something sturdy. That same leg that you're on the knee, you're gonna place that block next to, kind of in between. You're gonna come into a nice side stretch. So take this foot a little bit further so that you're not like this. It's a nice big straddle. From here, you're gonna take the opposite arm, reach it overhead up to the sky, and open up into that side bend. Now, some of you may want to even go deeper onto the floor, reaching for the floor, but what I want you to feel all throughout the psoas, side body, upper body, armpit, shoulder, shoulder girdle. I want you to feel this beautiful side bend. On the next inhale and exhale, bring it back to neutral. Swing that leg around other side for that pigeon. So whatever you did on this side, you wanna make sure you even it out and go in the same intensity and range of motion that you did onto the other side. So take that leg to that straddle, take it over cross to that tracking that other side of the mat, take the knee down, scooching over <laughs> your hip so that it tries to meet that sole of the foot. Again, bring those blocks and help yourself sit right up. Hope that makes sense. So hips are squared. So when I say hips are squared, they're both even and facing that side wall. It's not like this, okay, when you're collapsing. And again, no rounding in the back. Your chest is up. You are confident today. And again, if you'd like, you can slowly walk your hands away and see if you'd like today to come to your forearms.
All right, team. Next inhale, track your hands back up. As you exhale, come on up. And we're gonna go into that side bend, side stretch. So same leg, you're gonna take that leg a little bit further away. Nice deep straddle. Block goes to the side, other hand tracks overhead as you release into that inner groin and that opens up that psoas and side body. Again, if you want to experiment and play a little, you can go lower or if you feel nice and secure up there, stay up there. We're gonna be now stretching into the glute next. So we're gonna be seated. The next inhale, exhale, bring your arms up to palm center. Bring that leg all the way around. Okay, team, grab a quick drink if you need. We're right on track. We're gonna swing that those legs all the way around. We're taking it nice and easy today. Let's stretch out those glutes. You won't need your block for this, but you may want to sit on something if you feel like you're collapsing, your upper body's collapsing, okay? So from here, knees are bent, hands to the side. You're gonna come into figure four. So left leg is gonna track over that right, okay? So one thing I do see is this a lot, this. If that's happening, you just sit on a block and you push this away, okay? If this is happening, your foot is too close. Take it away so that it, again, squared hips, right? Nice and easy. So again, figure four, and you're gonna scoot closer to that foot until you feel a nice stretch into your glute. And this is gonna stretch your piriformis. If you have sciatica, this is a fantastic stretch. And stay right here. Here, we're gonna go into fire log pose. So that foot that's on the floor, you're gonna actually tuck it under. And this is where you may need a block. Okay, tuck it under and place the block underneath to support if you'd like. And you're gonna come into fire log. So fire log means your feet are stacked on one another and the uh, hips are also again squared. So again, if you have trouble with half lotus, may be a little bit tough for you if you have very very inflexible hips at this moment but do not worry it'll come with time so fire lock pose step one sit seated right here step two you can place a block underneath or if you'd like sometimes people like having the block on the other side to support that gap between so you pick. from here option one um crown of the head is up to the sky, chest is lifted, hands are by your side and you're lifted. Option two, hands can come also a uh, fire log style and come on top of those legs to give it a little bit of give. Option three, come all the way. To, I'm, get, I'm gonna turn back <laughs> so that you guys can see. So option two, option three, come all the way down. Now, if you're finding that you're shaking at, at some point, Ease up, regress, take it back. I want you to relax in these poses, not, you know, you're not tensing up. Beautiful, stay right here. Uh, your gaze is to the floor. As you inhale and exhale your journey into this pose, you're gonna find with every exhale, this glute is releasing little by little. On the next inhale, exhale, come on, up to neutral. You're gonna come back into that figure four stretch. Take your leg away and swing out. Shake out those legs. Nice work. Other side. So I'm just gonna turn to the other side to show you. Other side, figure four. Now for me, this side is my uh, 
restrictive side or not as flexible side. So if you have that problem like me, which a lot of people fight with this, <laughs> one side is dominant, um, see if you can still go the same intensity as the other side. So again, walking close to that leg, making sure this knee tracks away, so away from the body. And hold right here. Fire love poses next. So take the next inhale. Exhale, tuck that foot underneath. Again, if you find restriction, as you can see, this knee is higher than the other side, you may want to place a block or place it down. Up to you. Option one, you're up here smiling. <laughs> Chest is up, you're holding this pose. Option two, hands come in that fire log kind of pose as well. And you're gonna come down and press a little bit, not hard, a little bit onto the legs. Option three, come all the way down. All right, on the next inhale, place your hands on the floor, exhale, push up, come back into that figure four pose. And slowly release that leg, unhook that leg, and shake out the thighs and quads here. <laughs> All right, team, we're gonna come into more of a forward fold now. So we're gonna come to the edge of our mat. So you're gonna swing the leg around. And you're gonna come into cosmic egg pose. I love this one. So come into um, your feet, but you're gonna actually be on your toes. Heels come up, hands are tent, fingertips are tented, and you are touching gracefully the floor. Now, if that's too much, get those blocks and place your hands here. Does that make sense? Heels are up. Toes, feet are almost together, but not completely together, just a tiny bit apart. From here, what you're gonna do as an inhale, you're gonna look up, exhale, you're gonna place the heel down, come into a beautiful forward fold, okay? Inhale again, come into cosmic egg. Exhale, come into forward fold. Now. You play with this, see how deep you want to go. Your knees can be a tiny, keep a micro bed in your knees just to keep, um, just to protect them. See how far you can go, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Follow your own breath, couple more. Exhale. Inhale, and I know it's early morning, so your body probably doesn't want to go that far yet exhale one more inhale and exhale hold here couple breath now from here you may want to you know go back and forth kind of rock back and forth bringing the weight to your hands to your feet or you may want to cross and hang on to the elbows and just nod side to side. You pick. Some of you may want to reach for the back of the ankles. You, you pick. And on the next inhalation, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, release it up. Head comes up last. That felt so, so good. Okay, team, we are actually going to come into our final couple of poses and then we're going to go into Shavasana. Okay, so we're gonna come to that edge of the mat again. And we're gonna do a version of sun salutations, but not intense. 
Okay. <laughs> so feet are together. You're in mountain pose. So big toes touching, heels tracking together. On an inhale, you're gonna take the arms up to the sky. Exhale, you're gonna swan dive the legs to and your hands to your knees. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, full four fold. From here, hands come to the mat. Bend the knees, come into a beautiful plank. Now, you may want to, if you already know yoga, you can chaturanga down, or you can place your knees down and slowly come down. And then come into a beautiful cobra. Upper body stretch. Again, like I was saying, we're gonna take this slow. And our final sunrise yoga stretch, I guess, of the day. Downward facing dog. So tuck the toes. Press the hips up to the sky. And surprisingly, I find when I teach yoga in the mornings, a lot of people don't like doing downward facing dog in the morning, which I didn't even know because I, I find most sunrise yogas have downward dog. Um, but if you have low blood pressure, I can totally see, understand why. So bicycle the legs. You're here for five breaths on your own time. You may want to take your legs side to side. And once you're there, come and sink into that downward facing dog. Two more breaths. And next inhale, look between the fingers and just place the knees down. Beautiful. Okay, T, we're coming onto our backs for our final posture, which is Shavasana. So if you feel pretty warm, you don't need a jacket, but if you feel inclined, you may put your jacket on. I'm just gonna switch the song into more of a meditative song, but get into that, lie down into that Shavasana. So come on down, get nice and warm to keep the heat in the body. Feet are shoulder distance, palms can be facing up to the sky on your side. And at this point, I want you to completely empty your mind. Just enjoy this beautiful moment. Total relaxation. Relaxing all your muscles. Okay. Just your jaw down to your shoulders. Relaxing. I want you to take your mind there right now. As you're lying here in this oasis of peacefulness, I want you to tell yourself that you are amazing. You are hardworking. You're beautiful. And you deserve everything in this world. Everything is right where it should be right now. If your mind wanders, just 
tell yourself and remind yourself that you're in that oasis. No stress. Nothing can get to you at this place. like to stay here stay here as long as you'd like but if you'd like to come out with me start to wiggle the toes wiggle the fingers start to deepen your inhalation and exhalation and to come out you're gonna slowly bend the knees first twist over cradling the head and slowly push up from that side and come to see that beautiful, comfortable seated that you started at the beginning of class. And keep the gaze soft or keep the eyes closed. Hands can be wherever you like. Alright team, we're going to end with three deep, beautiful breaths today and then you're going to go off and start an incredible day, All right? Deep breath in and exhale. Two more just like that. Deep inhale and exhale. Last one. Deep inhale and smile. Thank you all so, so, so much.